Let's hope that's good. Yes. What is up everyone, Cornelius Franklin here, and today we are keeping with the theme of going through those things that every beginner filmmaker should know, and today we're looking at lighting. If you're new around here, we have videos coming out every single week on different creative topics. And a couple of weeks ago, I released a video with a list of things that every beginner filmmaker should know. And last week, I released the first one in that list, which was sound. And today, we're looking at the second one, which was lighting. So let's get started. Oh yeah, and if you're new, consider hitting that subscribe button. In keeping with the theme of the previous videos, we're not going to be talking about complicated lighting setups, but we're talking about natural light and how to get the most out of that. So the first thing that pretty much everybody will tell you about filming with natural light is go when the lighting is at its best, aka sunrise, sunset, when you have got that beautiful golden hour and the light then is absolutely amazing. But not everybody can go out and film at that time of day Lots of what happens if you're shooting like vlog style content is actually during the midday when the light is not so great and looks kind of a bit flat. So today we're going to talk about how you can get the best lighting in that sort of situation. So this lighting is pretty horrible. That is because the sun's up there, no diffusion, no nothing, and the sun is a pretty bright light source, so we're getting some horribly harsh shadows. But let's just make a slight change. So the only change we have made is we've walked, what, 10 meters further down the path and we found a section where the trees actually cast some shade on the floor and we're actually stood in the shade. You don't actually have to use trees, you could just stand behind a building or anything like that and all that is going to do is going to give a little bit of diffusion between you and the sun and also add in some bounce light from objects over to the side to kind of fill in some of that shadow. If you're shooting in a woods, you have to be careful because if you're walking, then you're going to get these sort of streaky light sources. Just stepped out of the shade there. Which, um, well, they basically are where there's gaps in the leaves and the light's just coming through really strong. So you just need to be careful of that. So the next thing you can do is just go out on a slightly overcast day. Then you're just using the clouds as a gigantic diffuser, which is just going to make that sunlight nice and soft and with soft light it makes it a lot easier to do videos like this where you're walking talking to the camera making sort of vlog style videos if there is no shade to give you some soft light then backlit kind of like this We've got the sun actually behind us because if i were to turn the shot around right now i am now squinting and we've got horrible shadows on my face but backlit much much better or if you're filming indoors just like go next to a window Nice, smooth, soft light, easy. So the thing you need to think about when kind of YouTube filmmaking is time of the day. If you can, go shoot at golden hour because it's going to be a lot better, especially if you think about shooting a lot of cinematic B-roll type clips. And the other thing is diffusion. Yes, you could use bounces and kind of... Ugh, dirt. And the second one is diffusion. Yes, you could use a bounce and kind of bounce light to kind of brighten up the shadows and stuff like that. But honestly, if you're making YouTube videos and stuff like that, the likelihood that you're gonna carry around a bounce with you is slim to none, especially if you're doing like a fast paced vlog or just going out and making a video documentary, anything where it's kind of run and gun, you're just not gonna bring all of that stuff to do complicated lighting setups. So keep it simple, find some shade. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up it does make a difference and consider hitting that subscribe button we have videos coming out every single week on different creative topics like this so make sure you've got the notification bell on so you never miss another video drop a comment down below with your favorite uh, kind of midday filming lighting techniques and if you have any questions also drop them in that comment section see you next time